Oh, I didn't record it. So this one's working fine, all good. It's spinning a lot faster than that. And this one, not spinning at all. I'll show you how to repair these. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, so um, it's getting a bit sweet. These are the tools I'm gonna to use. Screwdriver, side cutters, I've got some heat shrink, I've got some soldered connectors and some normal um, nut connectors there. And of course, a heat gun. You can do it without all that stuff, or some of that stuff. Here's the fan. Now, these thermal blocks I bought, um, I'll show them in a sec. I bought a pack of two of them, and it comes with thermal paste, and it was something like 10 euros 99. And when you think to replace this actual fan, probably looking 40 euros so let's let's give it a go and see what it does so this is the kit I've, I've used one of them already um, it came from Amazon and I think it was 10 euros 99 something like once you get this And you get your thermal grease. Now I've done um whoops. I've got a hang on my gimbal here. Let's see if we can put some of that over there. Right, that one I've repaired already, so it's working fine. So now we're gonna give this one a go. Now what I did notice when I put that one together, I did the wires red to red, black to black, but it actually spun the wrong way around. So I think it makes a difference as to where or which way around this goes. So what I'm gonna do, when I take this one apart, I'll try and get this one in the same orientation. Now this one looks different to the other one, this, how's it, how it's held together. There's two screws in the back there. Um, so I, th I suppose that plate have to come off. And there's a screw in here, and there's one in there. So let's start by undoing those. Similar, but different. That's one. Isn't Now, if you can see there's, oops, there it goes. That's those two screws. Now you can see a screw here. And once we've got this back piece off, I imagine there's a screw in there. These are slightly smaller screws. And they can't sell, whereas the others aren't. It's a bit of a no-brainer, really, isn't it? You know, if you're going to throw out a 40 euro fan, might as well. I mean, it could be the motor, but from what I saw, it was kind of 
sometimes it'd spin up, sometimes it wouldn't. So I'm I'm going for this. These seem to be quite common. That's loose anyway. Interestingly enough. Imagine this one's going to be loose as well, then. Yeah. Right, so let's take some note. So the red is on the right hand side. I'm going to pull it back together the same way. I have to spin it the right way. Now the difference is this has a metal plate on it, and the ones that I bought don't. That does have some thermal grease on it, but the ones I bought don't. So whether there's going to be any consequences to that, I'm not sure. Just give this a little clean up. Let's just give this a little wipe over. Screws in there. Yeah, that's a too much for this show. So when I took it out, the red was on the right hand side. Get a bit of um, grease on there. Now, get your snouts out. Nothing for you. Come on, come away, good boy. Not for doggies. So do the bottom first, give it a good old square it around. Not sure what sort of thickness this should be, but just give it a sort of generous coating. Right, well I've used all that tube in on both of them, so probably the correct amount, possibly. Okay, so let's grease that. Nothing for you. Come on, get your out. You don't want to be in the video, really, do you? Now, what I'm going to do first off is I'll put it back together, or I'll get the top on, and then I'll just connect red to red and black to black, make sure that it spins. The way it's supposed to spin. It doesn't do anything silly but like spin backwards or something like.
Right. Yeah, let's see if we can get this on that one. So I'm going to get a magnetic screwdriver. Just a bit fiddly. Make sure we get them so they're not threaded. There we go. So look at the blades, this one spins out to the right, clockwise as we look at it. So as I said, what I'm going to do is just briefly connect up the wires before I do anything else and make sure we have it spinning the correct way. And then we can neaten it all up after. That should be right. Nothing's touching, so let's go and put it on the fire. See what happens. Sorry about that, I had to pop out. But as you can see, that fan is now working. So I was gone for a half hour or so, came back and it was doing its thing. So before it gets too hot, let's finish the repair on it. So I think what I'm going to do, trim these down a little bit. They don't really need to be too long. Bit of 
heat shrink to start with. It's going to go right over the top. That's her. Hopefully, it's not going to start melting it or shrinking it, should I say. Then we can have these have got solder. Okay, here we go. Where are we? Yeah, these have solder in them and also gel. The, so when you warm up, it creates a, a watertight silver. Obviously in this application you don't really need that. Should really be wearing more glasses to be fair. Get that in the middle of the join. Get this one out of the way. That's where I make that solder melt in there. Let's cool down a little bit. Let me do the same on the other side. Put the back plate on. Nice. Put that over the top. Do the same for this one. So I'm done, the tile wires by now. And go in here. Like so. Get the back plate on it. Let's cut the channels for each wire. It's not a good idea. That goes there, that goes there. Back plate, two little grubs, counter sink screws.
It's going to be homemade tomato soup. Donna's just brought in for me. It's working. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short video. Um, just showed you how to change the little, um, TC on your stove top fan or a stufa fan, log burner fan, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, something different from the normal cast stuff. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, press the like button, hit the bell to get notified of new videos as when they come out and please leave your comments and questions in the box below i will leave a link to the um to the bits that i bought off amazon um so that if you have the same or similar problem it might be worth going down that route first it's only a few euros um anyway hope you enjoyed the video